is that kind of an adjustment, like kind of seek to read how the game's going and what your role is? Yeah, really, just to see how the flow of the game's going. And then, you know, just teams we've been playing lately, you know, who I've been matched up on. They've been one of the, some of the best players in the, in the conference. You know, I just take pride and try to do my best against them. Did you know that going into that game with Shields, that that was that, that was your priority that game, probably instead almost at the expense of scoring? Yeah, you know, I mean, we have a lot of people on this team that are able to score the basketball. So, you know, I just try to take it to be able to do a good job on Shields. And I was able to do that and it helped us win. What do you say in class or to people around campus when they say, oh, you should just, this is a, a walkover against Rutgers? We can't take any team lightly. You know, I think everyone on the on the team knows that. You know, even though Rutgers hasn't won a game in the Big Ten, they still were able to compete in some games in the Big Ten, so we just got to come out and play our game. How would you describe your defense as a freshman? I mean, it was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, really as a freshman, I really just had one mindset, and that was just to come in and, and be a spark plug off the bench freshman year. So I really wasn't worried about my defense. But, you know, as I've gotten older, I've, I've known how much of an impact that can make on the floor. You know, even if my offense isn't going well, as long as I can get a rhythm stump on defense, it can start my offense. When and how did you learn what real defense looks like? Um, I would probably just say, actually, just watch me before me. You know, I think Glenn was a pretty good good defender when he was here. You know, he was undersized as well. I mean, you know, I think he was stronger and more athletic than I was, but, uh, you know, I learned a lot from him before he left, so I think that's probably where it started from. Have there been guys that you could see kind of took a certain amount of pride in guarding you, you know, the guy who would kind of have that, that shut-down mindset, whether it be high school or anything like that, that you can kind of now see a little bit of yourself in? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone is worried about winning the game, but I think everybody has in the back of their mind just the individual matchup that they're going against, and you do want to win that matchup. So, you know, I, I really – had that come in my attention this year, I would say, just the people that I get matched up against. I mean, I've gone against other undersized fours that are some of the best people I said earlier in the Big Ten, so you don't know, try to take pride in that. Was there a conversation between you and one of the coaches at some point, either off season or during last season, that kind of changed your approach to defense and kind of helped the importance of it? Yeah, I think I think all the coaches, you know, pretty much sat me down. They just said, like, I'm, I'm our anchor defensively. You know, I think I kind of picked off where J-Mo, when he was a senior, he was more of our anchor defensively when he was here and how he was communicating, getting everybody in the right spot. You know, the coaches kind of see those characteristics that I have in my game, and they try to have me do that now. When was that, and who was it? when was that conversation? I mean, that happened over the summer. You know, last year was a disappointing season for us, you know, 16 losses that we had. You know, this year we wanted to be different, and we knew that we could score the basketball. We noticed that in the offseason. We just need to be able to defend. I think we've done a pretty good job of that right now. Who's the top?